guys. Today I'm going to review the LEGO Set 8964, the Titanium Command Rig. This set has 706 pieces, went for $100 in the US, and was released in June 2009. And so, let's first start out with the minifigures. The first minifigure of our set is Duke. And Duke is a uh, pretty, you know, just one of the power miners kind of guys. Pretty okay figure. I don't really care for too much for the good guys in the series. They're okay, though, for, like, army building or whatever. I really do like his, uh, the designs of the, the characters, though. I love the blue and the gray. And I love how the, these hats that they made for them. So, yeah, just overall okay figure. And just to note, he's the only, uh, good guy in the set that has, like, bare arms. Our next minifigure is Doc. And Doc is, uh, he's just, I guess, really the most generic power miner that you get. He's okay, though. Just kind of... Mm. No, they do have squish faces. His is just kind of a generic screaming face, but it's really it for him. The next figure is um, Brains, and I, I get Brains and Doc confused. But yeah, this is Brains, so he's, I have owned probably the most of him as a figure. He's just got kind of face back there. He's, he's probably the most unique power miner. He looks kind of cool. I really do like his design, though, with more of a white uh, to blue design, but that's really it for uh, Brains. Next, you finally have a rock monster. This is Galactor, who is the blue um, rock monster. Rock monsters, I really like their design. They're probably a really just a, one of my favorite kind of figures. I really love him. He's probably my favorite because I love blue. Basically, you're able to open up his mouth. I actually used to believe that he was two pieces because his mouth would, his upper piece would come out kind of like um, this. It's hard to get it, but yeah, kind of like that. But, you know, it's just one cool piece, and uh, he does not have a crystal in the set. Usually they have like, a crystal sex accessory or whatever. But he doesn't have one in the set because he is in a, in a cage. Lastly, we have Tremorox, and, well, my camera's really zoomed out because he is a big figure. He's one of the biggest minifigures I own besides the Rancor. And basically with him, he has a few special features. He has two base plates because he's really big. He is a kind of translucent... Uh, red kind of legs and more of a rocky body. He has three crystals on his back and his main feature is that there's actually kind of a lever back here and you can put like a rock. And you click down the thing it kind of froze the rock. And that's actually a really cool figure and you can also even take a rock monster so kind of lower him up like that. Kind of throw him or slam him down. Kind of just body slam him but it's a really cool feature. That's what I really love about this figure and he looks, looks, just looks so cool, and you kind of rotate them. Even this one, you can still rotate. It just, like, takes a while, because, like, it is kind of latched like that. But, yeah. That's really it for uh, Tremor Rocks over here. So now we move on to the Titanium Command Rig itself. And this is a very big vehicle. It is a really good vehicle, too. And there's it's actually one of the most unique LEGO vehicles you'll probably ever see, because of so many re so many different reasons. And so first I'm going to go over the front, kind of, I guess, the sides, and then I'm going to go over the tower and the back. And so first of the back, you can, or the, I guess the front, um, you have, like, a, some weapon racks. You have these two kind of big fire rigs over here. And when you move the thing, actually, I'll show you how that works later, but you kind of are able to spin that. And it spins just both, both of these, which I really like. And I'll show you how that works later on. So when you flip this over on this side, you have more rubber wax, and both of these will have like a little kind of crate, and this kind of thing right here, as you can see over on this side. And they have these kind of like wires that I really love this piece from Hero Factory. Hero Factory for life, but yeah. They also have these really nice tires that kind of are fit on there really well. And you know, it's got some, actually have some room over here, kind of, I usually place, um, you know, Duke over here, because he looks kind of good. Over here, so now let's go on to the back area. So the back area is very interesting, and I'm not gonna go over the cockpit yet, but yeah, this I really actually filled this area up. Like I, I transformed this vehicle a bit, or added in some like transport stuff in here, and there's actually a lot of room back here. I wish the only thing I really hate is I wish they had more. They could have fit more in here. It's a very empty room. But basically, first off, you have um, some features for the crane, which I'll show you. But this moves up this little kind of thing in here. Kind of uh, hook this onto something, and you can maybe hook it onto part of the vehicle, or hook it onto another vehicle, and maybe tow it. And that's just, I guess, a little add-on feature. It wasn't really important to the set, but it's nice that they added that on. 
But now we're going to flip this around because this vehicle is very big. And we're going to check out the crane. So let's just say, you know, we got the, I'll show you the cage real quick too. It's kind of attached with two hooks. So I thought it would be like a hook and one of those kind of little loop pieces. But basically the main way to get him in there, you usually just kind of squeeze him in. It's actually really hard, but if you good enough, I'm not really going to put him in there hard. But yeah, it's him and he's in the cage. And I'm just going to show you how the crane works. And you know that lever I showed you? So when you move that, it, the crane will slowly, but surely, move up. As you can see, it moved all the way from down to up. And that's how that works. And you're able to put a figure there. Um, you can actually control this. And another thing I like is that this actually, you see this little thing? You can move it like up or down, depending on how you want to move it. And of course I can move it all the way down. And it's easy, actually really easy just to move it down. It's, just, it's not as loose. So that's what I really like about that. And you're able to just put the cage right here. It takes a little bit, little bit for me if I only have one hand. Because this thing does shake. But yeah, you can surely move it down back like that. Now I'm going to show you the main function of this set. Now to first do that, you have to pull this little part out. Simple, right? Then what you do is you make that go all the way up until that drill hits the ground. And that made the crane go crazy, but and you kind of move that back like that. It just makes a weird squeezing noise. Next you kind of move those up like that. And boom, you just created a stationary tower. That is very large, very large, and this space is a little backed up, and why well, I had to take that pin out is because it attaches to this to stay loose, so that doesn't shake all the time. And why did the crane do that? Well, because it was just shaking very much. Maybe I'll just move the crane while out. So here's the tower itself. First off, you have the cockpit. The only thing I hate is that this kind of moves off to an angle a bit. You have the cockpit, just a little control area. Room for like two or three minifigures. You have these kind of lights up here. Now, I'll show you this little lab area in a second, which is how the drill works. But one of the main ways you can make this work is that you can uh, spin that. And I'll show you how that moves with the wheels. We just have like these crystal pieces, which I really like. This one moves, and the other one doesn't. But these are the only two crystals you get, along with the ones on Tremor Rocks. And you have some kind of little cool little stickers, like... Uh, Although well, that one right there scratched up a bit. Um, and this floor is mainly just to control the drill. But it's a really cool drilling tower. Another cool thing is you got this net. You kind of launch that out right there. And there's my Tremor Rocks guy over there. And you have these little uh, thick wire. I always like to use thick wire by just pushing them out. But and you can kind of just move these around. But now we're going to move on to the main inside. So this is the, uh, the inside. And there are lots of room. I actually usually put a lot of food in here. Like, I had a bunch of food. I'm like, you know what? I should put some, like, refrigerator stuff in there. But there's just a crate of a banana, and that's really it. I usually put more food in there. You have a little computer station. Not too much in there. Just two little computers. I think that's kind of cool to how they add that in. But the main thing over here is this area right here. Now, when you take the cage with the strange rock monster, you just remember to use one of these uh, pole pieces right here. Just stick that into the hooks that are kind of on the wall. You kind of lock that on, right? And then you can move these two white pieces on there to, you know, kind of pretend that you're securing the cage. And you kind of do research on the rock monster. And I think that's actually a cool little thing to add it on there. But yeah, that's really it with the set. So now let's move on to my final judgment. Before I forget how you actually do the wheels. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, that was a flame piece. That flame will probably come out sometimes when you move the thing too fast is I can kind of show you like this. See the gears? That gear will mix in with the gears for that wheel, and when that wheel moves, it kind of moves like that. So that's how that works. And now I'm go actually going to go to my final verdict of the set. Now with the set itself, um, I was actually, when I got this earlier in 2017, I actually expected not this not to have too many features, but I actually had a, quite a lot. And think of this one came out in 2009. This is before really Lego really took off in 2010, to my belief. It's when it really took off with Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings and stuff. But 
this is a pretty really good Lego set. It has a lot of nice features. And I actually got this for a really good deal. I got I paid $86 in total for this, including with the box. And I it wasn't like really new, but I went with the box and I got a really good deal on it. Hope you guys enjoy this review and bye guys.